in their businesses. Help them to be wise, Father God, not to hire lazy people, Father, not to hire sluggards, because that slugger would be to them like smoke in the eyes, Father God. Annoying and irritating, Father God, how smoke in the eyes can be when you hire a lazy person that won't work and stuff and slack off in your business or whatever. And back to 27. I thank you, Father, that the fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Father, I thank you as I, your child, and your children everywhere in the world, and the persecuted lambs, Father God, as we fear you, Lord. Heavenly Father, it shall prolong our days. Our days shall be prolonged, Father God. But you said the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And Father, the wicked persecutors that come against us that are wicked, that persecute your children, that persecute me and all the persecuted lambs through these modern day slavery programs everywhere in the world, Father God, Father God, their years shall be shortened, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, because sin always bring death. Wickedness always bring death, Father God. Thank you, Father, because what your word says in verse 26 here in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. Now, the fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the I mean, thanks for what 27 says. And what I just said, I, I got the wrong verse earlier about the fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened because that's what your word says. So that's the verse I was talking about, but I said the wrong verse earlier. I meant to say 27 and not 26. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. Verse 28, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Father, I thank you. As your child and all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, as we are righteous, Father God, we shall be gladness for your people, gladness for the righteous lambs and the righteous children of yours, and gladness for me as a righteous child of God. But you said the expectation of the wicked shall perish, Father God. And that goes for the expectation of the wicked persecutors that persecute your people, that persecute me and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world through these different types of modern day slavery programs, Father God. Their expectation shall perish. The wicked, Father God, that come against us, their expectation shall perish in Jesus Christ's name. Now, verse 29, the way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Father God, I thank you that the way of you, Lord Jehovah, Yah God, is strength, Father God, to the upright, to your children that are upright. To me as your child, as I'm upright in you, Father God, through Jesus Christ, and to all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God. But you said, destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity, that including the ones that persecute your children, including the workers of iniquity that persecute your children through these modern day slavery programs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that persecute me. Every day, the workers of iniquity that persecute me every day and harass me every day in various ways, Father, in various covert ways, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 30, the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. Father, I thank you as your child. As a righteous child of God and all your righteous children out there everywhere in the world, and the righteous lambs, persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, shall never be removed. We shall never be removed as your righteous ones, Father God, as your righteous people. But you said the wicked shall not inhabit the earth, Father God. And that goes to the wicked that persecute your people. 
that harass and torture your people and afflict and oppress your people and the innocent lambs everywhere and that afflict and harass and torture me through these modern day slavery programs Father God everywhere in the world that these wicked persecutors shall not inhabit the earth nobody that's wicked that's doing anything wicked to anybody or to themselves shall inhabit the earth Father God in Jesus Christ's name no matter how much the devil and their demons are lying to these evil wicked people that persecute us Father God and that rule the world in Jesus Christ's name hallelujah Father you said in verse 31 the mouth of the just bring it forth wisdom but the froward tongue shall be cut out the froward tongue shall be cut out Father God so Father I thank you that I as your child Father God and all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs Father God that we have the kind of mouths Father God as just people that bring it forth wisdom Father God, and I pray that you will help myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs to yield to your wisdom and to be wiser each day, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. But you said the froward tongue shall be cut out. So, Father, the persecutors that come against your people, they have froward tongues and their froward tongues shall be cut out, Father God. And even the froward tongues that lie about us every day and lie to us every day and that gossip and put us down and ridicule us and mock us every day. Those froward tongues of these wicked persecutors that come against your people, Father God, shall be cut out in Jesus Christ's name by you of course Father in Jesus Christ's name you are the judge and the only judge Jehovah Yah my heavenly Father and last verse 32 the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness so, Father God, I thank you as your child and all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs that we have lips as righteous people that know what is acceptable to speak and what not to say, Father God, what's appropriate to say, Father God. But giving us the wisdom to know what to say and what not to say. To be quiet when we should be quiet and to talk when we should talk, Father God. And to say things appropriately father god and that's edifying but you said father the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness so father even the persecutors that persecute your children and that persecute me and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world through these modern day slavery programs and outside of these modern day slavery programs everywhere in the world their mouth speak frowardness father god their mouth speak it frowardness father they are wicked and their mouth speak it frowardness and I thank you for helping your children and all the persecuted lambs and myself as your child not to be like the wicked that speak it frowardness that our mouths will not speak no frowardness father God that my mouth will not speak no frowardness no matter how our persecutors provoke us to anger to rile up Father God, to react in Jesus Christ's name, Father, that you will cover my mouth and the mouths of your children with the blood of Jesus Christ and our tongues with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will cleanse out our tongues with the blood of Jesus Christ to help us to say the right thing, Father, that you will give us the strength and the will to say the right thing and to speak appropriately, Father God, when we should, Father God, and say things that's susceptible and that's pleasing to you Father God and that our mouths will be ruled by the law of kindness by the law of kindness Father God and we will bless with our tongues and speak life with our tongues and not death Father God and we will bless and not curse and we will speak life and not death Father God with our tongues in Jesus Christ as your people Father God and as your children Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I thank you for Proverbs chapter 10. That is a great book from your word, Father God. A whole lot of wisdom from you, Father God. I thank you for Proverbs chapter 10, Father, Father God, the verses 1 through 22. 
I mean, not 22, one to 32 is done in our lives. Father God, this must be the algorithms of some witch praying against my tongue, <laughs> Father God. So, Father, I thank you for getting me through this episode, despite of the devil attacking my speech, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you, Father, that this prayer is done in my life and done in the lives of all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, that are being persecuted or not being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I give you glory and honor to you, Father God, and I praise you, Father God. And I ask that you will cover and seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ and that you will cover all your children and the persecuted lambs and myself with the blood of Jesus Christ, that you will protect your people, your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world from children to adults and myself as your child with the blood of Jesus Christ and to cover us with your hedge and shield of protection covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's name and father that you will protect me from any evil plans and evil blowbacks from the devil from the result of praying these prayer videos today concerning your word, Father God, over your people and over all the persecuted lambs and over myself, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, with the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name, Father. And I pray that you will send your angels to guard and protect all the wonderful children of God everywhere, your children everywhere, and all the persecuted lambs from children to adults and myself as your child from all evil danger and harm and evil predators, from witches and and warlocks and Satanists and witchcraft attacks, Father, and from all evil, violence, and terrorism, and premature death and murder, Father God, and strife, Father God, and from evil spirit to people, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, thank you for your divine protection over us and your wisdom, Father, of your word. Thank you for helping us to yield to your wisdom, helping me to yield to your wisdom, your children and all the persecuted lambs, to yield to your wisdom of your word, Father God, and Proverbs, the book of Proverbs is a great great source of your word to get wisdom in everything in our lives, Father, in any given area of our lives, Father God. So I thank you for leading me to do this episode today on Proverbs chapter 10. And that Proverbs chapter 10 verses 1 through 32 is done in the lives of your children and all the persecuted lambs in my life, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, Father. Hallelujah. Of his love to live 
Oh, worship the King Worship the glory Unto the King Oh, when all the nations sing Glory 